welcome to another video. Today has been actually not too bad. The last couple of days I've been feeling really, really tired and yesterday I had a really bad headache but didn't have a headache today so that's a plus. I managed to sit downstairs and watch some telly with my family. Actually I spent too long down there really so I'm hoping I don't pay for it too badly tomorrow. But it was really fun and my grandma's visiting at the moment so it was really nice to be able to spend a bit of time with her. The telly programme we were watching was Strictly Come Dancing and um, as uh, many of people will know it's quite full on that show, very loud, lots of bright flashing lights. So my nerves are feeling pretty frazzled. I think I'm going to do a bit of meditation and then go to bed which will hopefully calm everything down. So another day, another hospital appointment. This one I'm not really looking forward to because I'm not expecting it to be very useful. I'm not expecting anything to come out of it. To me, it's a bit of a waste of energy, to be honest. It's with my local ME CFS service and they were the ones who diagnosed me with ME three and a half years ago. And I've seen them sort of regularly ever since then. Um, but this is the first time I'm seeing them since I've been to Breakspear, so I'm going to have to explain all that. Overall, I'm actually not feeling that bad today. I've got a headache, and it's very humid today, so I'm feeling pretty hot. But my energy's not too bad, and I don't have any extreme nausea. Touch wood. Let's keep our fingers crossed. So I survived my hospital appointment. Um, it was fine, really. Um, there was literally nothing else I can say about it. It was totally uneventful. So that's good, I suppose. Much better than my last one, anyway. It was quite nice, actually, because my granddad took me. He drove me there and back, and it was really nice to sort of spend some time with him and chat a bit. Um, I don't get to see them that often now because I'm not very well. And I'm actually surprised by how okay I feel at the moment. I'm feeling pretty exhausted, but not as bad as I thought I would. I'm going to lie down now, have dinner in my room as usual, but I think I might go downstairs uh, later because my gran's going home tomorrow very early, so I probably won't see her. Um, so I'm going to spend a bit of time with her before she goes back, so that'll be nice. I actually woke up this morning in a pretty good mood, which doesn't happen very often because I don't sleep very well as a rule. I have very broken sleep, tossing and turning all night, and as everyone knows, when you have a night's sleep like that, you tend not to be in a very good mood in the morning because it's been frustrating and just, you know, not very resting, so you're in a bad mood. Plus, in the morning, my pain is at its worst because I've been lying still, so all my muscles are kind of seized up. Um, and you know, that was still the case this morning. My muscles were very sore, um, but I didn't sleep too badly, so I think that's probably why I'm in a good mood. I was expecting to feel pretty bad today because of how much I did yesterday. Um, so it's a nice surprise, um, and I'm gonna run with it. Not literally, obviously. I think I might just use this energy to do a bit of sorting, do a bit of admin, very boring, I know. Typically, after I said that I was feeling good, um, <laughs> I kind of went downhill. The rest of that day and then yesterday was pretty bad. I had a lot of pain and I was pretty exhausted. But today has not been too bad at all. I finished editing my next treatment vlog. I did some yoga and I even managed to read a bit. I'm just going to go to bed now and hopefully sleep. So for the first time in a long time, I'm going to class today as a good day. And I think that might be the first time I've said that in these whole entire videos. So today my fatigue was definitely a little bit better. I <laughs> spent it doing really boring stuff though. I sorted out some documents, filed them away, um, updated some spreadsheets for accounting stuff. So, so boring. I did a bit of colouring, listened to a lot of podcasts. I'm currently making my way through Undisclosed, which is a true crime story. I'm a sucker for anything related to true crime. I love it. And I'm ending the day feeling not too bad, so that's really good. 
my sister went back to university yesterday, so it's going to be very different without her here. A lot quieter, <laughs> and I'm going to be on my own a lot more. This is her final year, so, you know, it's happened before. And it always makes me feel pretty weird, primarily because she's doing all this stuff that I can't do, so, you know, that makes me feel a bit strange. Not in a, I'm really jealous of you way, more in a way that I just can't wait until I'm better. Because for me, the first thing I want to do is go back to college, you know, go back to studying. Um, I miss studying so much. I miss learning new things so much. And when that was taken away from me by my illness, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to go through because it was a complete loss of my identity. And I know that that's going to seem really strange to a lot of people, but I've always known that when I'm better, I want to go back to uni. Anyway, that was quite a long rant, so I think I'm going to go to bed now. Actually, I just have to say one more thing. I'm currently reading The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie, and it's so good. I think maybe one of the best books I've ever read. Definitely the best Agatha Christie book I've read so far. But because of my fatigue and brain fog, I have to read so slowly. And it's driving me crazy because I just want to know how it ends. I just want to know, you know, who's done it. <sighs> oh my god, I've just finished The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. The ending blew my mind. The best twist at the end I've ever read. I'm still a bit in shock. It was amazing. Just about to go to the doctors. I gotta have some blood tests. Really not in the mood to be used as a human pincushion so hoping they can find a vein quickly. Well I think that was the quickest doctor's appointment I've ever had. I went in there, had barely sat down and they called my name and I went straight in. It was amazing. I got my favourite nurse which as any person with a chronic illness will tell you is very important. Um, she's really good and she found a vein straight away so having the blood taken took about 30 seconds and then I was free to go. On another note, on a good note I should say, um, I'm actually not feeling that bad again today. I'm going to class today as another good day. Uh, so two good days out of the last three is uh, some sort of record I think. So now I've got the rest of the day to just relax. I think I might do some yoga. Uh, I think that would be nice. Since our cat died a few months ago, me and my whole family have been living vicariously through other people's pets. And this, <laughs> this cat always comes into next door's garden and makes loads of noise. I'm not feeling quite as good as I did yesterday, um, probably because I did quite a lot yesterday. But I am seeing not one, but two friends today. I know, so that'd be really nice. I'm looking forward to that. So my friends have gone now. It was really, really nice to see them. They stayed for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half actually, I think, which is really nice. Uh, I was glad I was able to do it for that long. But actually, I wasn't feeling great by the time they got here because just before, about 15 minutes before they were due to arrive, um, a delivery arrived and it was a really heavy kind of storage brackety thing that my dad's going to put in the kitchen. But then I had to help carry it into the house. <sighs> I don't know exactly why. I, I tried to say that I couldn't, but he was like, no, it'll be fine. Obviously, <laughs> I'm not able to do that sort of thing very well. So it really affected how I was feeling. My arms started to really hurt and I was really tired. So I wasn't feeling great by the time my friends got here, which is pretty annoying. But um, I was still able to kind of chat a bit. As you can tell from my horizontal position at the moment, um, I'm really, really, really uh, suffering now. I'm really, really tired. My head feels all fuzzy and painful. So I'm going to lie here and maybe watch some Downton Abbey. I've woken up this morning feeling pretty bad. Um, I knew I was going to feel some payback after yesterday because I could just feel it. I mean, I didn't do that much, but having to lift that kitchen storage unit into the house just really threw me off balance. But I'm also feeling quite anxious. 
I'm anxious that I schedule too many things too close together. Um, so I had the blood test on Monday and then I saw my friends yesterday. And then on Friday, I've got an appointment at the diabetes clinic. And then the Monday after that, I'm going to Breakspear. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and rearrange the appointment at the diabetes clinic because if I push it too far, then I may not be able to go to Breakspear and I really, really don't want that to happen. That is obviously the most important appointment. Okay, so I did rearrange my appointment at the diabetes clinic and I feel much better for it. I feel much more relaxed and um, yeah, less stressed, so that's really good. I'm just going to have a really easy day today and probably listen to a fair few podcasts. I'm still working my way through season two of Undisclosed. It's so good. It's like cereal, but more in depth. Um, so if anyone likes cereal, then I highly recommend Undisclosed. How pretty does that sky look tonight? So beautiful. And, oh, there's the moon as well. Today has not been good. <laughs> I'm so tired. I was talking to a friend um, who I met online who's also going through Lyme disease treatment and she is also experiencing a crushing fatigue and we were talking and I said, you know, I think we need to come up with a new word because exhausted does not really cover how we're feeling. She was like, yes catatonic and I was like yes catatonic sums it up perfectly that's how I'm feeling today does anyone else take their worst tasting tablets first just to get them out of the way I certainly do I've taken these two and then I've got these three to go so today marks the end of another video because it's the end of another two weeks uh, I've got to the end of week 14 still in one piece <laughs> so that's pretty good going I think these last two weeks have been pretty up and down really I've had some good days and some not so good days and quite a few days that have been a bit of both so I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in a fortnight bye <laughs>